Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm go going to analyze my IO EO paper with you. I'm in third class. This question paper consists 50 questions in total. Total marks are 100. And it's the paper of 2018-19. Here are the instructions for the candidates. And here we can see that there are three sections. Section A, grammar and vocabulary, 30 questions. Section B, comprehension and composition, 10 questions. Section C, colors, zoom. 10 questions. Each question of section A carries 1.5 marks. Section B carries 2 marks and that of scholar zone carries 3.5 marks. Good. And this is the sound bus from which I studied for the I O E L. And all the questions are compulsory and they are and there is no negative mark. book it has 16 chapters 16 chapters and a model test paper and model test paper answers okay so now let's see what I did in this um, my arm just kept wrong and shape wrong means I just did it a bit wrong so I should do the correct answer and which is kiss I just did it Correct, so let's dig in this. Hmm. So I'm just gonna start from section A grammar and vocabulary. The question one and two are related to noun. We have chapter eight as noun. So here we have information related to kinds of noun. There are five types of nouns. So it was pretty easy because questions were directly related to it. So, right, uh, find the kind of nouns for the underlined words in the following sentence. All right. Russia is the world's largest country. Russia. And what did I tick? I ticked proper noun. I just kept a small dot. And it's right. Question three and four are based on pronoun. We have chapter 9 and it provides information about singular and plural pronoun. Question 3, three was directly related to pronoun. I just gave dash and I find him. Right. I got a tick. Question 4 was related to kinds of pronoun. Information about it was not present in the book provided. Question five and six are related to verbs. Chapter 10 was verbs. It was directly related. Question seven, eight, nine, and 10 were completely related to antonyms and synonyms. Chapter 13 consists of both of, of both of them. All the new words came, but I tried my best and only in seventh one, I just did it wrong. Hey, I t even in eight, maybe my mom didn't get the correct one. So these both are wrong and these both are correct. Question 11 and 12 were related to articles. Chapter 11 contains articles and it has in-depth information about it. So 
definitely first go through the information and then go for practice exercise. Question 13 and 14. Verily, check your adjective. Chapter 12 contains adjectives and verbs. Just do the practice exercise. Identify adjective in the following sentences. He is a young politician. Young. Ravi has long hair. Long. Mm. Question 15 is related to use of possessive. Just one question was asked. We have chapter 15. If you say it, well, you can do it. Question 16 and 17 contains jumbled letters. Chapter 7 contains jumbled letters and sentences. Just practice, you can do it. Friends, I found that jumbled words are so easy for me that I got them uh, exactly correct. Question 18 and 19 were related to conjunctions. Chapter 11 contains articles, propositions, and conjunctions. Conjunctions are a bit tricky, not the usual and, but we have many new words. Question 20 was about tense. There is no chapter in this book related to tense. A teacher might have taught you in school. Moving on. 21 is related to adverb. Again, chapter 12. Just do the base exercise. You can do it. Moving on to the next page. Question 22 and 24 are related to propositions. Again, chapter 11, go through the information and, and phrase the exercise. Question 25 and 26 are related to grammat grammatically incorrect sentence. We have find the part of sentence that is incorrect. Chapter 7, Jumble Letters and Sentences. It has a section where you have to identify the sentences which have words in correct order. If you learn that, you can easily do this one. Question 27, misspelled. So this is also not present in the book. Find the word that has been misspelled. Review. He wrote B E E W. <laughs> Question 28 to 30. Find one word substitute. It was tough for me because there was no information about it in the book. I just guessed it. But I felt it was similar to Riddle in Chapter 5. Understanding through the definitions and examples. Moving on to Section B. Comprehension and Composition. We are in Section B. Comprehension and Composition. I just got a passage and I have to answer this question 31 to 34. By reading the passage, I answered it and I got everything correct. Question 35. 36 and 37. We have to identify type of sentence. Chapter 6 has Information about subject and predicate, type of sentences. Just phrase it, you will get it. 38 and 39. We have arranged PQRS 
to form a meaningful sentence. So chapter 7 has question related to this. Very good they are friends of. They are very good friends of mine. Question 40. Find the sentence which is in correct order. It's again in chapter 7. It has bits related to it. Yeah, in section C, scholars zone. Question 41. Related to correct spelling. Question 42 and 43. Common sense or logical questions. Question 44. Alphabets are given curved. And you have to decode it. Here are the codes. And here is the question. Question 45 is general. Which letter appears thrice in unusual and twice in whimsical? Well, it's none of this. <laughs> Question 46. Identify the R1 out. There are many questions like this in the book. Question 47. Find the part of sentence which has an error. This is present in chapter 6 sentences. Question 48. Find the analogy. Chapter 3rd is analogy. Just practice it and you'll get it. Question 49 and 50. Find one word substitute. It was a bit tough, but still I got it. So all the 50 questions are done. My analysis of the question paper is that only there are 16 chapters by, but the last three chapters nothing was asked and so only 1 to 14 chapters have been asked. In. The last two were about composition and storytelling. I worked really, really, really hard on that, but still nothing came. So that's okay, right? Friends, Writing this exam, it just improved my knowledge and also I hope it's useful for you too. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe and enjoy this video. And also if you like the video, put a thumbs up in the comments down below. Till then, bye bye.